So I've just been listening on the radio and before I came here, going through Twitter and all that sort of stuff, looking at what is effectively the new schedule for this season. Uh, with the EF with the EFL taking the sort of main priority because they released the fact that the Carabao Cup, I assume it's still called that, don't know what the sponsorship things are these days. Basically the first four rounds are all gonna be done in consecutive weeks in September. They're still doing the leasings.com trophy. Uh, more on that later. Um, and basically how we're going to get a normal season into a short space of time. Um, and on top of that, they're getting rid of the FA Cup replays, which I think is somewhat smart. But in the grand scheme of things, not really all that much because how many teams are affecting once you get later in the competition, so on and so forth. But all this has been sort of done in the process and on the predicament this is going to be one season. However, in my view, I don't think this is going to be a one season thing. Because what you've got to remember is even when we get through this season, 2020-2021, we're then starting to get into the World Cup 2020-2022 cycle. And because they want the breaks in between, you know, international breaks for that tournament to go ahead, those seasons are going to have to be short and they're going to have to start earlier so they can get enough games in to allow a couple of weeks break before the World Cup and then afterwards and so on and so forth. So everything's going to get shortened, which is why I don't think these changes are going to be here for one season. I honestly think that this is something that could go on. Basically, that this is the start of the end. Because once you get through that season, once you get through, you know, 2020, 2021, that's one season. 21, 22, you know, because it's in December 22, you're basically starting it there. Then the World Cup season, which will effectively be 2022 to 2023 season. So that's uh, 0, 1, 1, 2, 3. Three seasons, maybe four. My maths isn't great. Basically, once you've gone through that schedule, I don't think we're going to get to a stage where they're going to want to bring it back. So things like getting rid of the FA Cup replays, I think without them saying it, they have essentially killed off all FA Cup replays. That's it, forever. Because once you get through four seasons, it's going to be hard to convince all these people to say, remember how it was four years ago? Yeah, let's go back to that. It would be, uh, let's just put an example. It would be like in 1995, oh, well, it took a couple of years, so 1997-ish, basically the Premier League saying, this 20-team thing's not working, let's go back to the way it, let's go back to the way it was with, with the extra couple of teams. And then having to make up for that. It, it, it just wouldn't have happened. So I just think you're reading all these stories... Don't just assume that it's a one-season thing. It is going to be... Uh, this is going to start of something on much more long-term. Um, back to the EFL Leasing Trophy and something that I... Honestly, if I was the EFL, I would have I would have scrapped the EFL, the EFL Trophy for one season. Um, again, I say this, you know... I, I'm saying all this, you know, predicting this at the start of the end for the... The Leasings.com trophy, EFL, whatever is going to be sponsored by in the future, that will stay because it needs to act as a supplemental cup competition for all the League 1 and League 2 sides that get knocked down the first two rounds of the Cowbell Cup. It gives them extra games, even nobody cares about them. You know, you have. I was a, I was a Porto Fulham a couple of years ago where it was just over a 1,000. People don't really care until they get to later stages when Portsmouth suddenly get 50,000 tickets to Wembley or whatever. That, but that's not the point. I think for this one season, because of the strain that the EFL teams are going to be under, specifically League 1 and League 2, because they're the ones you play in the leasings.com and the academy teams as well, because of the basically the strain that's going to put on their squads, yeah, and we're talking about financial as well, there, there probably would have been stuff like goal bonuses and competition bonuses, you know, if, um, just name off the top of my head, just because I know that... Brett Pittman, I know he's left Portsmouth, but he's the only one I can think of. Brett Pittman you know, scored five goals in the Leasons.com trophy. He would have got a bonus. Clubs can't afford that now because they don't have fans, all that sort of stuff. The financial strain, as well as the strain on the players of having to play constantly, constantly, constantly. And it's not as if the League One and League Two clubs have the big squads like a Manchester City or a Man United or the big teams do. They could, you know, in theory, get, get through. You know, if Sergio Aguero can't play one week, it's fine, they got Gabriel Jesus. If, you know, going back to last season, if David Silva can't play, it's fine, they've got Phil Foden. They'll be fine. That's not quite the same across League 1 and League 2 clubs. So I would have got rid of it just for one 
just for one season on the proviso that it does get brought back. But just on a grander scale, we're talking about the new normal, and I think the new normal, basically this season, is going to be the new normal. So if there's anyone out there who like romanticizes if you're a you know an Exeter fan or uh going back going back in the days, Yedding, I think they're Hayes and Yedding now. Um Burton Albion, I know. If you're one of those teams that is basically dreaming of getting Manchester United at home, maybe forcing a draw and then getting the money spinning replay, those days those days are over now. Basically now what you're hoping for is to get Manchester United away and then basically just getting all the money from that game instead of instead of basically being across two games. Um, that's those are just my views on it. Um, let me know what you think.